Today on Trailblazers, we have Rob Burnett, founder and CEO of Well Told Story, a two-time Emmy award-winning company that uses research and popular media to change the lives of young people in Africa. The company's flagship media platform, Shujaz, has garnered a following of millions as it tackles the hard questions and issues facing youth in the region today. I'm George Esaias, founder of African Speakers and Artists, and I'd like to welcome you to our Trailblazer interview series. What does the Chujaz world look like? So it's a story which we deliver on multiple platforms. So it's a single story which so it, it's sort of harnessed around a, a DJ and he's a he's he's boy to his family, but he's DJ B to the world. In Tanzania he's he's known as DJ T. And uh, and he's a 19-year-old school leaver who didn't get a job, didn't get into college. Uh, he's idle at home. He's actually like millions and millions of young people in East Africa, wondering what to do with their lives. Um, his mates have all joined a gang and they're up to mischief, but he refuses to join because he has a secret. And his secret is he's built an FM radio station in his bedroom. And so somehow, we don't exactly get how he's done this, but he's able to hack into the frequencies of radio stations with his show, which is a call out to young people to step up. Don't wait. Good stuff is not coming. You need to make it. So if you've got something in your life which is working, or you've seen something which seems to be a good idea, send me a message, text me, write to me on Facebook, and I'm going to share that with everybody. So together, we, the young people of East Africa, will step up. Mm -hmm. So the other main characters in the story are listeners to his show who once in a while come across something. Oh, I've got to tell the DJ. He can tell everyone. And so... The, and they're boys and girls, older and younger, kids, teens. There's the girl from the slum, the kid from the valley, the Rift Valley, the, the coast, up country. So they represent all the different types of young people out there. And each of them has a mum and a dad, a kid brother. There's evil, there's love, there's romance. So we deliver this story in a comic book, which is massive. I think in Kenya since 2010, we've distributed 52 million copies. Wow. So huge edition. Mm -hmm. Uh, in Tanzania, we are, our, our print run in Tanzania is 10 times bigger than the biggest circulating newspaper in Tanzania. So absolutely enormous distribution of comic books. But of course, the DJ also has a radio show. So that show syndicates on lots and lots and lots of FM stations across East Africa, so presented by the DJ himself. And of course, because he's online, of course he would be, you know, his Facebook page is massive. Um, and... A lot of people don't have access to the internet, so they like to send SMSs. So I think in Kenya last year, DJB received 1.9 million text messages. And so it's, it's incredible. It's a huge engagement. And then there's been a film we made. We shot it on a Nokia mobile phone last year. Um, it's been on YouTube. We distributed it, 10,000 DVDs before Christmas through our distribution network in Kenya. So but let's, let's touch on that, sorry, because yeah. you make it sound like it's uh, mm -hmm. you know, an everyday occurrence. So you shot a film yes. just using a mobile phone. Right. Well, a feature-length film. Because that's how DJB would make a film, right? I mean, who has access to a camera? Right. Well, of course, do you have to use your phone for that? Yeah. So, so we start... Actually, what happened was we, we started by making a television series. And we wanted it to be like a magazine show. And lots of people submitted their content on WhatsApp. So we asked the audience, send in your stuff. Send it to the DJ. He's, gonna, he's on TV now. So we packaged lots of stuff that came from the audience. And then we thought, well, let's anchor that with a drama so a drama was made, shot in the slums of Kisumu and here in Nairobi in Mathari, one of the toughest areas of the city. And it was all done on location, made by lots of young people. Um, many of them were like first time ever in front of a camera. I think we had one famous guy who came because he's a friend of ours to, to act in it, who played God Papa, who's like the ultimate villain. He's actually the embodiment of evil, I would say. We made 13 episodes, I think, and, uh, and we aired them and it was big. And then it was like, well, what a shame it's over. You know, shouldn't we, um, what a pity we can't use them again. And then we thought, hang on, we've got 13 of them. Could, if we just sort of smush them together, would that be a film? So we called the editors and said, can we just smush them together? And they went, well, it's not that easy. And we went, oh, come on. So a month later, we had a feature length movie. And it's great, John Go Love, it's called. It had 110,000 views on YouTube over Christmas, which considering where we are yeah. and the commitment it takes to watch a 
hour and 30 minute long movie on YouTube. We're pretty pleased with that.